Hi guys and welcome to the next video. Uh, in a previous video you've asked me to make a, a material regarding the file backup on Fanuc. So today we're going to cover that. So uh, first of all, like always, there is, there is going to be a little bit of uh, technical info. So you guys know what type of memory are we using in Fanuc, what type of backups there are, which are the most common one. And right after that, we're going to get to the exercises and I'm going to show you again on the Fanuc Robo Guide how to make the backup and what type of backup you're going to make. So I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give it a like, don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the technical info. So first of all, there are uh, three memory types in the Fanuc. The first one is called the DRAM and that's a temporary memory. So most uh, of the things that are stored in there are going to be, well, not most, all of the things that are stored in that memory are going to be reset after you do the cycle power on the robot. So that just holds the temporary information. So when the Fanuc is, for example, executing movements and the motion planner is uh, calculating the, the movements, that's going to be lost after you cycle power. And that's why the robot will try to go to the latest point, for example. And that uh, memory we cannot back up, it's just a temporary, uh, it's there and then it's gone. Then we have the second memory called SRAM and that's where all of your files are stored. The position registers, uh, frames, the teach pendant files and so on are stored in that memory. And that memory, uh, after you cycle power, it won't be viol violated. It's going to stay the same like it was. However, if for any reason you're going to lose the power on the battery, on the free, free volt battery that's inside the controller, I'm not talking about the uh, batteries that are on the robot, I'm talking about the, like you have the same uh, type of battery in your computers, on your uh, motherboards, that's the type of the battery I'm talking about. If that battery will die, you will cycle power the robot, you're going to have around half an hour, 30 minutes, to uh, back up your files or turn the, the power back on. Otherwise, the memory that's stored in there is going to be lost as well. So guys, one again, the SRAM, after you cycle power, it won't delete the files uh, as long as the batteries are on. So all of your teach pendant programs, all of your frames data and so on is going to be stored in there regardless of, the, of the, if the robot is on or off. And the last one is called the FROM. And over there, there are, uh, so it's a flash memory and that, uh, fi that memory will always be there. Doesn't matter what happens, it's a flash disk. So it's like a, let's say SD card that you put in there. The files will always be there, regardless of the fact that you're going to lose battery or not, if you, if you do the, the, the controller is off. And that memory will always be there and it stores the system information. So basically all that you need to cycle power the uh, robot and all of the software that's in there. So guys, that's all about the files and uh, I'm going to, I'm sorry, the memory types. And right now I'm going to tell you uh, what type of backups can you, can you make and what type of memories are stored in those backups from which uh, memory type you're taking the backup from. So listen. Okay, so uh, let's get to the backups. So there are two main backups that you can make with the Fanuc. One is called uh, file backup and the other one is called image backup. Now with the file backup, you're going to store a bunch of information in there. Uh, and that, that backup is going to backup your SRAM information that, I've talk, that I spoke about earlier. So like I've said, your user frames, position registers, uh, numeric registers, teach pendant programs, master counts and so on are going to be in there. And the most common type of file backup is called all of above. And we're going to get to that on the exercises. Uh, the second type of backup that you can make on Fanuc is called image backup. And that backup is combined of two memories. The first one is called the SROM. So the one that you make the all of above backup. And the second one is the FROM where the software is. So when you make that type of backup, you're backing up actually two types of memories. Once again, the SRAM and the FROM. And those two combined together are making the image backup. So that 
guys, basically like uh, an actual copy of the robot. So if something happens, if you're going to lose either the uh, system or some of the files or any other reason, you can take that, dump it back into the robot and it's going to be like an exact copy. It's almost like you would take out the hard drive and uh, take it out, take it with you, make a copy of it and put it back into the, into the robot. So that's the image backup. It's really useful to do it, at the, especially at the beginning before you start doing anything. So you can always go back to the most uh, basic or the uh, first backup of the, of the robot. Because if something is going to get corrupted while uh, programming, then that's uh, one of the ways how to get back all of your data. And right now we're going to get to, ex to the exercises. I'm going to show you how to make those backups. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the backups that we're making and why we're making them and what type of information do they have how to get that information and uh, I think that's all that you need uh, for now to get the accurate backup of the robot, restore the data if something happens, take a look at the files if you need to, modify them so you can see the programs, play with them, load it back to the controller and so on. So guys, let's get to the exercises and see you in a second. One, two. Okay guys, so let's get to the exercise. So uh, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta plug in your USB uh, either to the uh, controller USB port, do it like this. Or you can plug it in into the teach pendant uh, itself. Uh, you can do it like that. Okay, so uh, after you plugged in your uh, teach pendant, you gotta tell the robot uh, to select it. So how we do it? So you guys go to menu, uh, we go to file and file. And in here uh, we have a, something called utilities. We click here and we're going to set the device that we're going to use. And you have a bunch of options in here. Uh, the one that you're interested in is the USB, D, USB disk UD1 and USB on Teach Pendant UT1. There is one more thing usually called uh, MC, which is a memory card that you can select. And uh, But the controller that I have in here is does the uh, R30IB uh, uh, mate and it doesn't have the uh, MC card. So you cannot see it in here, but that's the deferred option how you can make your backup. So uh, let's select the USB disk uh, because that's where I plugged my uh, USB in. And uh, as, as you can see in here right now on the top, the, the first three letters are the devices the, the device that we select. So let's select something else, like let's select the USB on Teach Pendant. And as you can see, it's changed to UT1. When we go back to the uh, USB, it says UD1. Uh, if you guys uh, select something uh, and you try to search for files and it, it will turn out that's the, the wrong one, just nothing will show up. But anyway, as you remember, as you maybe seen on the other, on the video that I showed you, uh, right here at the top of the screen, it says that the USB was connected. So you know that your uh, robot read the, the the USB. Okay, guys. So how how do we do the the, the backup? 
So there are a few things that you need to do in order to, to make it. So first thing we've already done, and that's selecting the device you're going to use. The second thing is optional. You can do it. You don't need to do it. Uh, it's up to you. Um, my experience. Uh, I'm going to talk about the formatting right now, so we can format the device uh, or do the format FAT32. And to be honest, uh, guys, that's up to you. I usually format uh, my USB sticks in, in my laptop. Now, uh, what, what can I say about it? It depends. Uh, I've done the formatting on both. I've done it on the robot and on the laptop. And to, to be uh, honest, um, I've formatted sometimes on the, on the robot each pendant and I was still getting fault with, the, with the, my USBs. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, what's the difference between the FAT and FAT32? The uh, FAT32 is for USBs that are, that are larger than two gigabytes. The regular one, the, the format is for a smaller USB. Uh, so the one that are two gigabytes or less. And I hardly recommend, uh, I mean, I strongly recommend using the small USBs with the FANUG because they work really good and the robot is making the backup really fast on the smaller USBs. So, okay, we have the USB in. Uh, we already set the device to uh, the device that we plugged the USB into. So right now the next step is also optional, but I recommend to do it is to making a directory. So basically you can think of it as making a folder in the computer. So you're going to do it by clicking here on make the directory. And you got to input the directory name or you can say a folder name. So I'm going to use the uh, keyboard to doing that. And I'm going to type uh, all. Okay. And as you can see, as soon as I type it and I hit the enter key, uh, you can see that the directory change is like in those guys, like you can, you have the, the, the path, so it's UD1 and then the folder all, and right now you have the two asterisks with the dot, which means I'm showing all of the files uh, in that folder. Okay, uh, but you will ask me what type of backups do we have. Okay, so let's click it and let's take a look. So all of those are the backup types that you can make. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into all of those because uh, there is no need, at least not right now. The one that you would be interested in, uh, there are actually three things that I, I usually take care of. One is the TP programs. So that backup is going to save uh, all of your TP programs to the to the dependent. Uh, the other one is called the ASCII programs. It's not on every robot because uh, you gotta have the option of the translation. Uh, so that's the other one. You, when you make that backup, you're able to open all of your files in the notepad. So it's going to save uh, LS files that are uh, editable. So you can open it, you can see how the program looks like and so on. But the most common one is going to be, to be the all of above backup. And that backup is going to save all of your data. And with that backup, you're able to restore the uh, controller if you make some changes that you didn't want to make or something strange happen or you delete some of your frames or I don't know some other strange thing happened uh, to your to your files and that's the backup you're going to use to restore the controller if the software gets corrupted it won't fix it because for fixing the software you need to make uh, other type type of backup so the image backup uh, but for now, uh, let's do the all of above backup. So you simply select it and it will ask you, do you want to delete all of your files? Yes or no. Of course, uh, you want to delete all of the files in that directory because he, he, he will delete it and he's going to make the backup into that directory. So we click yes. We wait. <coughs> Bam, it's done. So uh, you will see, press dir to generate directory, which means the backup is finished. But guys, take a look at your USBs. If they do have a LED built-in that will blink, 
make sure that the light stopped blinking because sometimes you will see that message but the usb will like keep blinking for maybe a second or two or maybe five longer which means the robot is still working with the usb and you might not save all of the all of the files so keep that in mind okay so we have our backup now what if you want to see if the backup was done so you're simply going to go uh, with your uh, cursor uh, to the all files, to the asterisk, the second uh, line, and you're going to hit enter. And that is going to read all of the files that, that are saved. And you see that there are a bunch of different files uh, that I'm going to talk about in other video. So you know that the backup was uh, done. At the top you see uh, that you're on the first line of 196 files. So as you go down, it, you, you can uh, see that the number is changing. But right now we're going to go up. So we go to up one level, we hit enter. And we're uh, in our main folder. And I'm going to show you the ASCII backup. So the same story. I'm going to make a new directory. And I'm going to name it uh, ASCII. Now uh, with the arrows, I'm going to select it, hit enter. Again, you can see that we're in, in the directory and I'm going to make the ASCII backup. So I'm going to go to backup. I'm going to move to the right, ASCII programs, hit enter. And it will ask you guys, you can select the files you want to save, or you can just simply save all of the files. So you're just going to click all, and it's automatically saving all of the files. And again, you wanna see, you wanna make sure that the backup was done. Okay, let's go to all files, let's hit enter. Bam, you have all of the files. So we can go back. So those are the uh, two first type of the backups that I spoke about and which uh, you should uh, know how to do. And the most important backup uh, that you should be able to do is called uh, the image backup, uh, which in here I cannot do. But normally uh, in here, you're going to see also uh, in that menu, there's going to be probably on the right hand side something called the image backup. So you're going to select it. So like the same as selecting any other backup, you're going to select it. Uh, and the window in here, there is there will be a question saying, do you want, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the, the, it will say that the robot wants to cycle power and you, want, you can hit OK or cancel. So you're going to select the uh, directory first. Uh, then I think it will ask you uh, if you want to make the backup uh, after you select it, either in the current directory or on the FTP server. That's the first question. So you're going to say current directory. So it's whatever you, 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 you select. And then you're going to do uh, the, like I showed you, the backup. So you're going to click yeah, the backup, the image backup. It will ask you to the current directory or FTP server. You're going to choose the current directory. And after that, in here, it's going to say uh, OK to cycle power. And you're going to, see, to hit OK, and the robot will cycle power, and the image backup will start. Now, with the uh, made controllers, uh, it's not possible for the controller to restart itself. So it will give you a message, please cycle power. So that means we need to go to the robot cabinet and you need to manually turn it off and back on to perform the image backup. So as soon as the controller will boot up, it will start making the, the backup. So that's something you should know. Uh, and there is one more backup that uh, I strongly, strongly recommend to make. And I think it's the best one for analyzing and for having all of the necessary files. It's called, it's not really a backup. It's called a, a MD backup. That's how we call it. And it's actually copying all of the files that are on the memory drive to your USB. 
so how, how do you do it so uh, first of all uh, let's again make a directory I'm going to call it uh, MD and that's not really a backup so that's like I I've said it's a copy so what you're going to do you're going to go to utilities you're going to do set device and you're going to select your memory device right here number four with the arrows hit enter and as you can see right now you're on the MD now very important thing you need to make sure that you're on the first line where it says all files if not guys you gotta just use your arrows to get to all files now what you're going to do you're going to hit the next button or the arrow and you're going to hit copy in here and as soon as you hit copy it says from path md from file name so it has the asterisk dot asterisk which means all files to device and in here you're going to hit choose and you're going to select your USB uh, disk one because that's the where you plugged in your USB that's where you made your directory so hit that one enter and bam you can see that it's going to do the uh, UD one and it automatically did the directory MD and to file name of course all and you're going to do do copy it will ask if you want to override because you might have some files in there of course yes and it's copying all of the files and what this backup has guys it has the same files as all of above backup and it has all of the files from the ASCII backup so you, you, you're getting those two in one shot plus it has few more extra files that you won't get uh, from either of those backups so that's the best backup you can make I, ha I strongly recommend you make it because it will it gives you much more information and uh, as you can see after it's done it says copy it to UD1 uh, MD all files so now uh, let's go back to our UD1 and right now we want to see the all files so because we want to see the folders you want to go to MD hit enter bang guys 348 files 348 files take a look ASCII we have 80 files in the all of above we have 200 so we have like not even 280 we have 276 files and in the MD there is like as 348 so it's much much more files you can you can go in here and take a look uh, how many extra files you're getting just by making but by making that simple trick and I'm, I can assure you that's the best thing you're going to, to discover about Fanuc because you're getting ton of information in here like ton but guys uh, to sum up there is a little bit more to do uh, for with the backups but for now that's all you need to know so guys the first thing is the file the backup you should always make after you're done your work and before you start your work and is the all of above backup because with that backup you were able to restore the robot controller and I'm going to tell you how to do it in the next video second backup which is even more important than the all of the above backup is the image backup because with the image backup you're getting both of the memories so the all of the above backup is going just to save your SRAM memory so your teach pendant pro programs your variables your mastering your frames and so on but it will not save the FROM so the score software that's uh, on the robot but the image backup the image backup is going to save both so it's saving the fram and the sram so that's basically guys it's like a copy so it's it basically like you would take out your hard drive and cre create a clone so that's the same what the image backup is doing you're taking the robot and making a clone of it it's extremely extremely guys important 
usually bad, uh, I'm sorry, good habit that I do, always when I go to the robot and I start the, the work, it doesn't matter where I go, there are two things that I do. First is making the image backup, and the second is making the all of above backup, because that saved me so many times from so much trouble. Uh, and guys, it's a principle. You, you just need to do it. it. You will just get used to it. It should be a standard for you. Go, you make those two backups, and then you start your work. Because no matter what happened, you can always go back to those two backups. Okay. And that's all from the exercise, guys. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, like always, leave me the comments. Tell me what, what you want to know more. Uh, give me some information, what, what you're interested in, what I should talk more about. And I'm sure I can do it. Uh, I can find the information. I can tell you what I know. And we can make the programming easier. Okay, guys, and that's it for today. I hope you like it. Don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and put your questions down in the comment. Let me know what you want to know so we can uh, get together for that. I can give you good answers to your questions and you can be a better programmer with that. And see you in the next movie, guys. Bye bye.